What's up YouTube? It's me, it's me, it's Benny B. And today we're talking about Tomb Raider 2018. I gotta beat the clock, so let's make this short. So for those who don't know, Tomb Raider is about Laura Croft searching for her treasure hunting father who is presumed dead. Uh, so to begin, I would just like to quickly go over the cast. Um, Alicia Vikander is a perfect casting for Laura, looks the part, is very passionate, and in the action scenes looks like she belongs in there. Um, also, Walton Goggins, which I don't feel, I don't see a lot of people really giving him praise. He plays the villain perfectly, he's really good in those type of roles. Um, even though in my opinion he doesn't get enough screen time and his um, motivations, though they are explained, I wish they would give a little more detail into it, maybe a little more motivation. Other than that, Perfect. And that's all the positive things I have to say about this movie. Whew. <laughs> this is gonna be a bad one. So the movie is based off the 2013 video game that, that rebooted the Tomb Raider series. Tomb Raider, no points if you guess the name right. Um, and yeah, and there are a lot of scenes in this movie that are inspired and are taken from the game. Yeah, like like the, like the first 20 minutes of the game, you know, the first 20 minutes where you're, um, where Laura's broke and she has to deliver pizzas uh, to make ends meet, or that she's so des or that she's so desperate for money that she ends up competing in these weird like races where she essentially has like a rabbit tail on her back and she rides a bike and other people have to chase her while while she's pouring a trail of paint so people can follow her. Um, first 20 minutes in the movie really tries to get you to like um, I guess connect with Laura on a personal level and um, also show that she loves her daddy who is missing. It's very unnecessary. I actually had a friend in the movie theater who showed up 20 minutes late and he's like, what do I miss? I'm like, you missed jack shit. Like it's, it was just at a pad screen time and it really put a bad taste in my mouth. So after establishing that I will not inherit my father's company because I don't believe he's dead after seven years. I refuse to sign this money that says he's dead, that way I can inherit his money in his company. After they establish that, it's basically, oh, my dad might be alive. There's little breadcrumbs that lead me to this island. Boy, I wish I had money to go to this island. It's only I could sign a piece of paper that could give me assets and money to go to this island. I don't know. Oh, but I can't sign the paper that'll give me my dad's company because I don't want to, I don't want to believe he's dead yet, even though this will literally get me to him. I don't know, the movie... Lazy writing, just, I don't even want to get more into it. Clock's ticking, let's we'll just keep going. So, there are a lot of scenes from, from the 2013 video game that inspire scenes in this movie, which on paper should work perfectly. Uh, however, a lot of the scenes are bunkered down by a bad camera placement and uh, unnecessary slow motion. Um, Cause I'm on time crunch, I'll give one example. Um, I'll put the footage somewhere here for the game. Um, so basically there's a scene in the game where Laura's going to a cave blah 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 and then she falls on a on a sharp object that impales her in her side um, The game does it perfectly the camera angle when she hits it is from an up is from a Downward angle so you see her just hit it and then you see her rolling around in pain There's like little red flashes like little like red pulsing uh, the music is crescendoing higher and when she eventually pulls the thing out camera angle goes to this like really sick corner angle as just to see her yank it out it's like very oh it's a really well shot scene the movie wants to replicate this she falls on a stick or something which okay that's fine she hits the stick in her side she's rolling around and then it's just 20 seconds of close-up like ignoring this just 20 seconds of just close-up on her face I can't talk about this fucking movie anymore it's bad don't watch it, but before I end off, I just want to end this on a positive note. So, thank you, T Tomb Raider 2018. Um, thank you for giving us the perfect Laura that you don't, that the rest of the movie just doesn't work around, but is good enough so that we have a bunch of neck beards and shit. Okay, we'll still give this, we'll still give this movie like sevens and eights just because, oh, Laura's attractive. Oh, this breaks a Hollywood curse. Oh, it's such a good movie. Rocher glasses. Yeah, shut the fuck up. And lastly, one thing I guess I kind of want to applaud the movie for is by setting up the sequels in a very interesting way. I was actually, at the end of the movie, I was just like, 
Wow, this is very this is a very fascinating way to set up a sequel. I'm actually intrigued, even though the rest of the movie is fucking garbage. I just wanted Tomb Raiding. It's all I wanted.